This video is meant for adult audiences only. It is not meant for children. It is meant for adult fans of toys as well as vintage memorabilia. In my last doll hunt video, you saw me picking up a bunch of fashion packs for 99 cents. Today, I'm going to go through each and every one of these 12 fashion packs and give you my opinion on them. Now, the last video that I did that was in a similar vein with the Stevulaire fashion packs, I remembered that it is quite annoying to undress and redress old school Barbies with rubbery band and snap knees. That's why I decided to go for two modern dolls today. You know, we all joke about how Barbie's quality has gone down the drain the past few years. But the one thing that I'm giving her is the fact that modern Barbie is quite easy and probably the easiest fashion doll in general to dress and redress and undress. There's no friction between the plastic and the clothing and you can just swap the outfits on and off. I've got two models with me today. The first model is Barbie Glitz doll in purple dress GRB34. I had mentioned in my doll hunt video that she has the Claudette face mold, but that's not right. She's actually got the Daisy face mold. It's just a screening that reminds me of the BMR 1959 doll with the purple Bantu knots, who has the Claudette face mold. That led me to believe that this is the case with this one as well, but that wasn't right. If you'd like to see more pictures of her, redressed, rebodied, and restyled. I have a few on my Instagram page. You can find me there at don't underscore call me doll. And this one is Barbie Fashionistas number 156, GRB48. She has the Kira face mold. The promo images of her showed her to be towering above the other fashionistas from the 2021 wave. So people assume that she's on a tall body, but that's not the case. She's on a standard body. I also think that this straight standard body mold is the perfect fit to showcase the clothing without taking away from it. And I'm in love with these two dolls and I think they deserve an outfit that is a bit better than the one that Mattel has given them. Now I'm not sure if these 99 cent fashion packs are worth it. I'm not going to be doing that, but we can take a closer look at them. First up is this red dress with a white blousy top and a pair of matching shoes. This is the way that the box looks like. There are some flowers printed on here and it says doll clothes with shoes. There's an illustration here and it says je t'aime which is French and means I love you I think. And this is our second dress with a plaid print, a polka dot belt, as well as matching shoes. Now I'm not going to be talking about the shoes as much as I'm going to talk about the clothes, because the shoe modes on all of these fashion packs are the same, they just color swap them. Now while I'm taking these out, let's talk a bit about fashion packs. You know, the one thing that I'm giving to Mattel is that Despite all of their flaws, as far as the fashions in the cells go, I feel like their fashions are always very much polished. There are no loose threads. That's all speaking from my own experience. It looks very finished because some other doll lines, they um, might have a bit more extravagant clothing, but their clothing also has some errors as well as flaws and those cannot be found on um, Mattel fashions. I also saw, um, well, I'm from Germany and uh, these fashion packs are available in Europe, but I also saw a few videos, uh, one on Broken Dolly TV, where she did take a look at dollar store fashions and um, yeah, that seemed to be a bit of a rough ride. I mean, they looked nice, but the quality on them was horrendous. And I decided to take a look at these fashions and model them on the standard Barbie body, because I doubt that they would fit properly on a petite or on a curvy doll. Now let's take a look at the 
plaid dress. It's quite a tight fit around the bust area. The velcro barely closed there. But then again, it's a bit more loose fitted here around the belt. The print goes all the way around, as you can see. But overall, I feel like with a few accessories, this is a nice basic um, undergarment for a doll to be redressed in a more of a punk or alternative look. Now here we have the French look. I don't know why, but it kind of gives me a cliche stereotype French dress. The print again on top goes all the way around. This fits a bit better than the other one. It's even a bit loose. It could have been a bit more tight. And with a tool underdress and underskirt to make this part flare out, this would again make a cute look. And these are the shoes. Now, if the shoes were a bit more of a red color like this, they would fit more. But yeah, like I said, I think we can all agree that the shoes are not going to be uh, the main focus of these fashion packs. So we are off to a good start, I think. Um, already a bit more impressed than I had expected. Now these are the next two fashion packs. It's this one. I'm curious to see whether these are two separate pieces or if they are sewn together at the sides or at the back. And it's this little romper here. So here we have the romper. As you can see, it has black hearts as well as black stars and brown stars printed on it. The fabric used is a very soft, summery fabric. It has a bit of a linen feel without the structure of it. The belt goes all the way around and so does the printing. It fits her to a T. The velcro and closure in the back snaps perfectly. There are of course a few loose threads here and there. But I think it's to be expected that the seam work is not going to be the most exquisite. And these are the shoes. Now with these shoes, um, they have a bit of the cardboard box stuck on them. Now this is another summary outfit. The top has a gingham print and a mustard yellow and white color. The fabric used is again the same fabric as the romper, but it's a bit more structured. I think you can see the arrows pointing upwards. Now this uh, little mishap here, this happened when I wanted to put it on. It uh, got stuck in her um, fingers and her fingers have this rough plastic. So that's why this bit here is scratched, which is unfortunate, but hey, um, it's 99 cents, so I can easily get a new pair. Again, it fits quite well. Velcro's on the back. These loose fitted pants have this interesting um, print on them. I don't exactly know what you would call this print, but it's in a navy and white color. So the next two fashion bags I'm going to show you are going to be these. It's this summery dress in a light pink color. And this is another pink dress with some tool around the waist and some glittery print. So this is the sparkly party outfit. It's very much in the vein of the Steffi Love outfits. The sparkle print goes all the way around and so does the tulle over skirt. This was again a bit of a tight fit. The velcro around the bust area barely closed. But yeah, maybe I'm just not used to fitted clothing anymore ever since um, Bobby stopped properly use fitted clothing and moved towards all those t-shirt dresses. 
but yeah i quite um enjoy this look it's cute i don't mind it now this is not my cuppa i think the look is odd and the finish of the outfit is also more or less uh, fulfilling my expectations of it being quite rough around the edges when i was putting it on it also um, was almost tearing here a bit but in the end it did go on without any mishaps happening i think it's a basic dress has a bit of a spring wipe to it it's a bit more flowy yeah it is what it is i'm still not sure what i what these are meant to be are these meant to be some kind of flower the next two outfits are going to be this purple formal evening gown as well as this teal colored zebra print dress now this was more or less what i had expected from all of the fashion packs it's this ghastly um, paper material that's very cheap and it's got this tool glitter wrap around that's open in the front goes all the way around and as the bodice on top also has this tool wrap around around the um, papery material it's a rough fit the seam work here you can see that this wasn't sewn properly to hide it. It barely closed in the back. And yeah, this princessy dress is not the best. Now this one is more like it. I think it's quite cute. I really love the um, fabric that was used on the skirt. It's very soft and it actually feels like real fabric. The top part fits her uh, okay again you can see that it barely closes in the back but as long as the dress looks good in the front i don't mind there being some oddness in the back and what's a bit annoying is these holes the tabs that were um, punched through them have left i generally would love if uh, companies would stop using these plastic tabs to secure doll fashions MGA love to use those on all of their products as well. It just makes all these fashions end up with a bunch of holes that you don't want. So only four more fashion packs left to go. The next dress is this flower print dress. And then we have this heart print dress. Now I'll present you the heart print dress. It has these puffy sleeves. And there are loose threads galore everywhere. But I mean, you can just take a pair of scissors and gently cut them off. It fits her quite nicely. I think it's got a bit of a more boxy mod dress feeling to it. But with the billowy sleeves that shoot out, I don't mind it. It's a cute look on her. And this is the flower print dress. I really like it. This is a bit of a loose fit. The Velcro hasn't been attached together. So I can see curvy girls wearing this dress as well. What I'm a bit disappointed about is the fact that the thread work, the seams here are a bit more rough with a nicer finish. I would have loved this even more, but as it is, the way it fits her, uh, it's very cute. So for the final two fashion packs, we have these two outfits. It's this beige colored business attire with these gold dots. And this shiny silver iridescent metallic disco outfit. So now we have this party outfit, despite having this shiny silver print all around and the fabric itself is actually quite soft and feels very nice this again is a bit of a, a bit more of a loose fit so there's a possibility that this could also fit on other body types throw on a pink fun for coat and a pair of knee-high boots 
and she's ready to go to a club. I think this is also very pretty. I don't know why, but it kind of gives me executive realness. It's very secretary-like. Just imagine her with a pair of glasses and a notebook. What I really like is the shape. It's fitted very nicely, especially around the waist part, but still having a bit of a bigger shape around the bust, but being nicely fitted around her thighs. The fabric of this is also a different kind of fabric than the one that was used around the top part. Again, the print goes all the way around. Yes, this is a keeper for sure. So now we've taken a look at all of these fashion packs. So it's time for my final thoughts. So all in all, I'd say that I'm pleasantly surprised. There are a handful of outfits um, that I quite liked. There were also a few duds here and there. I think with these, there's ample opportunity for dressing, redressing and um, restyling your Barbies. I think this outfit is definitely cute, especially on her. This dress was also one of my favorites, especially because of the fit. This one is a cute basic um, one that you can use on a lot of styling opportunities. Now my least favorites are definitely this one. I wasn't very keen on this one as well. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite outfit was. Also let me know if you would like to see a follow-up video with me taking a bunch of these outfits and um, upstyling them, upcycling them, maybe adding a few bits here and there to make them look a bit more stylish and more glam and more expensive. For more content like this, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. I post fashion doll related content every week on my YouTube channel. And then I might catch you in the next video. Bye for now.